Hi, I'm Pamela Nalbachan and I am a chef and food writer and the author of The Complete Caribbean Cookbook. Cuban black beans are very popular in the West Indies but very, very much popular in America and they're made in very different ways. I'm not going to make black bean soup, which is what most people would probably assume. I'm going to make frijoles negros, which is a dish made with black beans in Cuba. These are black beans. They're small, kind of like a haricot type bean. They don't take very long to cook, but they definitely need soaking like most beans. And once you've soaked them overnight in water, you'll have a a very strong, deep purple black liquid that comes out into the, in the liquid, which is what you want. Um, I also m put some sprigs of thyme in this when I soaked it last night. And I won't add any salt at this stage because that slows down the process and tends to make beans quite tough when you cook them. So I will just add the water for now a couple of bay leaves, my scotch bonnet, and then I'll bring that to the boil. Okay, so the, the beans are starting to come to the boil. I'm going to add some Spanish olive oil, probably about a tablespoon, I'd say, at this point. That's going to help the beans from needing to be skimmed. When the beans come to the boil, you really do have to look out for the white, foamy, sort of frothy surface. And skim it off, it's known as skimming. So we basically take off those top foamy bits, which if you leave them in, won't make your beans taste so nice. And doesn't lend itself to a nice smooth black bean dish at the end. After I've skimmed it, I'm going to Turn that down to a good simmer and let those beans cook until they're tender. The black beans have been cooking now for about an hour, maybe a little bit longer, and I've been watching them and stirring them as I go. If the black beans look like they're drying out a little bit and they're still not quite cooked, just top up with a little bit more water. Keep the moisture there. So I can see that they're really soft. If you, if you notice, some of them are breaking up. What I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to lift out my scotch bonnet. The other thing I want to take out are the thyme stalks because by now all the leaves have fallen off the thyme and I'm just left with these woody stalks which are quite unsightly. So I'll take them out. While that's still simmering away, I'm going to prepare what's called the sofrito which goes inside the Cuban black beans. It's a, it's a base for many, many uh, Spanish and Latin uh, style dishes, Latin American dishes. First of all, I'm going to oops, take some olive oil what I want to do is add about two to three tablespoons. I don't mind being generous with the oil here. First of all, when that oil has heated, I'm going to add the onions. Fry those off first. Now I'm going to add the garlic. Just give that a good stir around as well. Just gonna give the garlic a minute to cook before I add just a teaspoon of brown sugar. So just a teaspoon sprinkled in. And now I'm going to add a teaspoon of oregano. Okay, I'm also going to add some yellow pepper. Green pepper is fine for this. In fact, traditionally green pepper is used, but I really like the sweetness of yellow pepper. So I'm going to add a bit of yellow pepper. Just add a touch more oil to that. And then finally, once that pepper's softened up a little bit, I'm going to add the cumin. So one teaspoon. If there's one spice that is used in Cuba or in the Spanish Caribbean, speaking Caribbean, it's cumin. So when the sofrito is ready, I'm just going to add two tablespoons of cider vinegar. And I'm going to add this to the black beans.
Okay, so using the black back of my spoon, I'm going to mash a few of the beans to thicken the sauce. I'm also going to let that sauce cook now for another few minutes until everything, all the flavours merge together and then I will season it. I haven't yet, up to this point, added any salt to the, to the dish, so it will need it and I will do that at the end. A dish like this needs quite a bit of salt. Beans tend to take, really need a lot of salt to bring the flavours together. I'm going to add half a teaspoon to begin with and then try it. Mmm, perfect. I can really taste the cumin in there as well. And that's pretty much it. You can now decant it onto a bowl. You can serve that with white rice and plantain and uh, meat, any meat dish I think uh, this goes really well with. And that's how you make Cuban black beans.